Uh, first of all, my native language is not English. Uh, I'm not living in an English speaking country. So please understand that I'm not good at English. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. And the order is as follows like this uh, background and summary, and feature, feature selection and engineering, uh, training methods, uh, important findings, and simple model. Uh, my Kegel nickname is Y-U-U-N-I-E-E, -E, Uni. Uh, it comes from Yun, it's Yun, uh, the last letter of my real name. Uh, I majored in electronic engineering, and I have work experience as a machine learning engineer for about 60 years. Uh, and I have previously won gold and silver medals in financial competitions on Kegel. Uh, recently, I'm currently enrolled as a master's student in the field of data science. Uh, uh, this is a summary of my solution. The models, models are write GPM and CatBoost and DanceWrite. And DanceWrite is an extremely simple form of DanceNet. Uh, details can be found in the write AutoML library. Uh, and uh, the train and validation strategy use the stratified group K forward method. Uh, although it is not a standard time series data validation strategy, uh, there are three reasons why it was used. Uh, first, uh, due to the nature of the competition data, it was judged that the impact of future references was extremely small. Uh, second, I thought I need to know the average performance of the widest possible range. Uh, lastly, I determined that this method has the best correlation with the readable score. Um, the picture on the right shows the approximate configuration of each model and the weight in the ensemble, and the numerical units of CV and public LB and private LB that correspond to the competition metrics. Uh, the most uh, important features, although the features used an observed importance for each mother was slightly different, but some commonalities can be found. Uh, representative examples include things like uh, sex and price, uh, income type, uh, date of credit start, and birthday, uh, reject history, uh, etc. Uh, and I thought that parts that were intuitively considered important were actually important. Uh, the libraries used as follows here. Uh, and I, uh, VS Code was used as the compiler. Uh, the CPU is 12700K and the GPU is RTX 3090. Mm, this is a personal computer in my room. Um, based on the hardware used, Model training time was about um, two hours for write GBM and about one hour for others. Um, perhaps because there are many types of data files corresponding to tables in the database and the number of each data item, it was difficult to test them one by one. So I designed an automated experiment. Uh, automation is not something special. It specifies an uh, aggregate function to be tested for each table and data type and test it repeatedly. repeatedly. Uh, the aggregate functions include uh, maximum, uh, minimum, or uh, average, uh, standard deviation, uh, first, last, or etc. Uh, the by recording changes in NUC values, I retained the feature sets that showed the significant increases, and I dropped everything that wasn't. Uh, what you see below is the feature importance and is identical to the one we saw earlier. Uh, the importance type is CatBoost default uh, prediction value change, 
and uh, write GBM's default is gain. Okay, uh, this is the average of each feature in the target value, zero and one group within the train set expressed on a log scale. Uh, because it is a log scale, the difference is much larger than what is feasible. Uh, and I think this is a very significant difference. Uh, this is the capital tendency, right? And this is the right GPM. Uh, as introduced earlier, the cross validation stretch is a stratified group K fold, and log loss is uh, used as the loss function. Uh, AUC and competition metric were used as metrics, but uh, there seems to be an error in the 50. Uh, this is not correct. Uh, AUC and competition metric were used. Uh, detailed options used for other models are as shown. Uh, GBDT for right GBM and loss guide for cap boost and snapshot ensemble with SWA. <clears throat> um, for ensem ensemble between mothers, weights were determined through the out of fold score for each fold in the train data set. <clears throat> what set you apart from others in the competition? Uh, it's hard to know for sure since most solutions aren't made public, but here are the factors I think. Uh, first, I actively use the neural network model, which helped to ensure the diversity and robustness of the prediction distribution. Uh, second, uh, unbiased performance was maintained between trained data and test data. In particular, uh, my cross validation score seemed somewhat high compared to other participants in gaps of AUC and competition metrics. Uh, looking at the top team's public solutions, the cross validation score was around 0 0.69 and mine was around 0 0.71. Um, the third is a relatively light model configuration. Uh, based on public solutions, most participants seem to have assembled about 10 or more models. A large amount of ensemble can help increase the score, but it was thought that there was a risk of fitting in itself. Uh, outline a subset of features that would get 90, 95% of your final performance. Uh, as written here, this is the 661 feature set used in Capboost. Uh, now that I look at it again, I'm not sure if this answer is in line uh, with the intent of the question, <laughs> okay? Uh, if you used the um, ensemble, was there a single classifier that did most of the work? Which one? Which one? Uh, the answer to this is solu also Capboost. Uh, in terms of uh, performance, uh, it was the best. However, my ensemble models have a balanced weight, so it is difficult to say that anyone is special. Uh, this is a separate answer from the question, but I think that differentiates me from other competitors is the use of a dense net, which is relatively important. Uh, what was the simplified model score? Uh, as I said, the simplified model is cap boost. The score are as follows here. And the cross validation score was about 0 0.706. Okay. Uh, okay, with this, I finished the presentation and have a Q&A time. Uh, thank you. <laughs>